people. Um, I haven't uploaded a couple of days, and I was nearly gonna not upload today, but I was like, I love you all so much that it would just seem mean to deprive you of me, because that doesn't sound cocky as fuck. Anyway, um, I'm reasonably drunk, and I know how much you guys love drunk videos, even though I feel that uh, they're kind of meh. I'm not really a big fan of drunk videos, because it's just like, oh, look, it's a video of a guy making an ass of himself and saying dumb things that dumb people can say. I don't know. That's my opinion on it. I, I think drunk videos are personally very lazy, and... I feel like a bit of a twat for doing them, but I don't know, you guys like them, and I like getting drunk, and if you put those two together, you get drunk videos, so I... Anyway, on a reasonably serious note, before I just start being a twat and doing my usual shtick, um, I am going to start breeding my uh, team at some point. I've got a team of six pickup guys, which I swear to God, people have been telling me like, oh yeah, leveling up on X and Y, oh, it's no big deal, oh, you know, you can do like the restaurant level up thing, or, oh, you could shove them in the daycare and run around in circles and leave your DS on all night, which I, I, you know, I love you, Nick, and you're awesome, but seriously, I know that it really shouldn't be a problem, but I seriously have some vague issues with leaving my DS on all the night. Like, th it shouldn't be a problem, alright? But just, there's something in my very grain, my very fibre of my being that says leaving your DS on for like eight hours while you sleep is a bad idea and you're going to wear out the battery or it's going to overheat or something's going to go wrong. I'm a very pessimistic person, but that's just kind of what happens. I tried it once with, um, I was leveling up a Breloom and a Golurk, because I wanted a Breloom with, like, Spore and Full Swipe for catching shit, which works really well, by the way. I really like that Spore, Full Swipe, Breloom for catching stuff. And I hate that Golurk. That Golurk I picked, like, I picked it like, oh, yeah, you know, it'll be able to kill stuff easily to help level up, level up stuff. No, it's fucking awful. I hate Golurk for that. It's a good Pokemon, but just the one I picked was shit. But like I say, only level Breloom up about 19 levels, which I suppose is because Breloom's got a kind of iffy EXP amount. A level go up up by like 29, but I don't know. I, it, it's very difficult to justify. Although when you consider that you're doing the restaurant thing to level Pokemon up, eh, I don't know. I mean, leveling up, leveling them up about 20 levels, it's kind of iffy. I don't know. It, 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 every little helps, but if it's going to kill my DS, I don't know. Anyway, let's shut up. I already went off topic and I was trying to make a serious point before I went off topic. Bollocks! Anyway, um, the team I wanted to make was go obviously going to be my absolutely gorgeous, lovable, sexy as hell team that I adore to pieces and always will adore to pieces because this team is amazing. Um, but... I'm kind of iffy on a few Pokemon. I mean, let's face it, right? Gastro, I, I, I love Ferrothorn, okay? Ferrothorn is slightly less douchey this gen. Because there are so many things that kill it. I mean, Genesect is legal. Thunderous is legal for some bizarre fucking reason. I mean, you're talking about banning Gengar and Thunderous is still kicking around? Christ! The amount of fucking Thunder Wave plot sets I've come up against. That bastard is just unreal! But whatever, there's that thing. But Ferrothorn's slightly less douchey. I love Ferrothorn in all of its entirety. It's such a cock, but it works so fucking well. It's brilliant. Gastro, I'm still slightly iffy on. So first things first, if you have any recommendations for Gastro's move set, I would quite like that. Because Ice Beam, Earth Hour, Recover, Toxic, it's all very well and good, but the coverage can sometimes let me down a bit. So any recommendations on what you use with Gastro first, would be very, very helpful. Maybe you have some kind of funky, innovative, weird, specially defensive wall set. I don't know, but there you go. Um, we're keeping Pharaoh because I love Pharaoh dearly. He's such a spiky bollock of doom. I really need to give his Thunder Wave Normal Gem Explosion set a go again. Do you guys remember that Thunder Wave Normal Gem Explosion set? It was so cool. It was the only thing that did any work against Shofu that one time. Um... I switched Donphan out for a Tentacruel because I noticed I have a ginormous fucking ice weakness with D-Knight sitting there. 
So I put Tentacruel in there. His synergy is a bit better with Gastro and Ferrothorn, but I know, still kind of iffy on that. Showdown suggested me a physically defensive set, so I thought meh. May as well. Tentacruel special defense is really good. I'm running Knock Off Scald, Giga Drain, and Toxic. Why am I running that? I really need Rapid Spin in there somewhere. I don't quite know why I've done that. Knock Off is really good, though. In fact, I don't know. Yeah, you know, I think I just picked moves I wasn't paying attention on Wednesday or something when I put him in. Yeah. I didn't think that one through. I kind of want Giga Drain there, though, but I will sacrifice Rapid Spin or Knock Off for Rapid Spin. Alright. So it's, it's just, just, yeah. Okay, hang on. Let me let me save that. Come on. All right, all right, cool. All right, that's there. Yeah. So if you got any suggestions for your technical set, maybe you. I, I like Giga Drain just because it was a grass move, and a grass move is always, you know, it's it's generally reasonably handy to have. Um, it's quite good against God, Gastros, for instance. So I like that. I like having that there. Toxic, I prefer over Toxic Spikes. Because Toxic Spikes never quite do it for me, and the things that you want to, you know, get poison, usually, in uh, OU at least, are going to fly, or, you know, they're, they're not quite thing. If I was really ballsy, I'd run Reflect-type, and I've already completely confessed my love to Reflect-type, because Reflect-type is such an awesome, very cool move. And I absolutely encourage the use of Reflect Type. Like, a lot of people, you know, and myself included, generally say, I am about the crazy, innovative, whoa, wacky sets. Reflect Type is the pinnacle of that. Reflect Type is unpredictable, yet very handy, yet very unhandy at the same time. It can be amazing, it could be absolute dog shit. But I love that unpredictability, and I adore that. It's brilliant, so. If I was really ballsy, I'd run Reflect Type, and I really need to make a Reflect Type team, although I'm still sort of. I, I want to try Heal Block again, but I don't know if they'd have fixed it yet. I'm kind of iffy on Heal Block. And the other thing is, there are so many fucking offensive teams. Like, I don't know about you guys, but so far in this gen, I know people are still finding their feet. I know people are still trying to find what combination works for them, but have you really honestly seen, like, three plus three teams? Like, I mean, three walls, three attackers. I barely see that. You either see completely balls-to-the-wall offensive shit, where, you know, the entire team sort of covers itself and wraps around itself, and people can switch between the different offensive threats and keep the pace up and keep you on the back foot. Or, you find complete bastards who just constantly run just brick wall teams where it's like, oh, you want to do that? I'll go into this. I'll sit here. I want to do that? I'll go into this. Sit here. It's like, oh, you whores! I would say, I, I, so far, I completely hate the defensive teams more. The defensive teams are so fucking difficult to break down this gen. Especially with this team. I mean, this team's fairly traditional. It's a 3 plus 3. But that's kind of a problem. And there are a few things missing from this team that I would like, but I don't quite know where I want to fit it in, and the synergy is sort of quite where I want it to be, so I don't really know what I'd shuffle around. But yeah, there's Tentacruel. If you've got any suggestions on the Tentacruel set, um, let me know. Maybe you just run a completely. Maybe you'd recommend running a completely max specialty defensive wall with that. I don't know. I stick with Toxic because that's how I like it. Maybe Giga Drain's worse than Ice Beam. But yeah, so uh, thoughts on Gastro, thoughts on Tentacruel. Now, the biggest whore, Mega Charizard. Now, I've said in my Mega Evolution analyses, is, 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 I love Charizard X. I really do. It's a very versatile thing. It can do physically defensive set. It can do a DD set if push sort of comes to shove, like if you really prompt it and give it the push. Um, it can do it, but I don't really know if I want it in this team. Which really annoys me. I mean, the thing that I finished off running in 5th gen, I had a Terrakion where Charizard X would be. Um, it was okay. Like, you know, Scarf Terrakion is Scarf Terrakion. It's a thing. And I really think this team could use a Scarfer. Like, something that can outspeed Genesect, because Genesect is such a whore for this team to deal with. And, yeah, great. Charizard generally resists all of its moves apart from Ice Beam, but I mean a plus one U-turn still does 25% to Megazard X. So it's just I'm still trying to think if I really want it there. I love it. I love it because it can handle things like Rotoms and Sableyes, but 
you know, like I say, Genesex is not that great. And because it's a fire type, it threatens most stuff out when I don't want to threaten them out. I know that doesn't make a lot of sense. Like, you think, oh, it's a Skarmory. You really want to threaten that out because I was going to set up shit and wall your entire team. It's like, what if I don't? What if I want to keep it in and sneak it and get it with, you know, a flamethrower or something? That's what I want to do. But I can't do that with Zardex because it's so in your face. This is like, oh my god, this fire type is going to fist you. So people will leave. So I don't quite know what I want to do with that. Looking at my team synergy, I'd like you guys if you could... You know, I'd like, well, I'd, 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 I already like you guys. I'd like it if you could maybe come up with some alternatives because I'm really struggling for alternatives right now. doesn't necessarily have to be a fire type, but I would prefer it to be special. But although Tentacruel at least adds another special thing, which is something that Don fans seriously had a problem with. But I don't know. Um, now the other thing I have been like I, I'm very ashamed to say, by the way, I have been sort of making weird nods towards Gyarados, thinking, should I keep Gyarados in my team? Should I? But then I just sort of slap myself in the face and think, no, I have to keep Gyarados in my team because I love it so much. It's so good. It's absolutely amazing. What? E I don't give a shit what comes out in the next whatever gens. Gyarados will always be a boss. Because it is amazing. And I love it dearly and I always will do. Um, the only thing I'm kind of iffy on is... Um... um well, because it's Mega gets Mole Breaker, and because Rotom is so fucking common at the moment, I am genuinely thinking perhaps, just perhaps, I should try putting a Mega Stone on it and having that Mole Breaker and then putting EQ on it. I'm really not sure, but the thing is then it gets walled by Dragons. I don't know. I'd put Moxie on it as well. So it, it, I really don't know on that one. I like Bounce because the regular one gets really great coverage with it. But, like I say, Rotom is just a hard fucking wall. And nothing on my team wants to deal with Rotom apart from Megazard X, which is still going to take a shit ton from a Hydro Pump. I mean, the bulky DD set, I think I had about 120 special defense invested on that fucker. And it took about... 54% from a defensive Rotom. That's okay, but that's still a losing battle. So, some like a, a, a replacement for Zardex that can deal with Rotoms would also be very helpful, but also something that isn't hit by Will O Wisp. So, that's, that's a really hard thing for you guys to, you know, to try and find. If you want, if if you guys can help me out with that one, I'd love it if you could. I'd love it if you could find an alternative. I mean, like I say, I adore Zard X as a mega. It is one of the best megas so far. I mean, um, TPXS as it's called at the moment. We are planning on making our own tiers separate from Smogon, and you know we we're talking about the prospect of megas. And I was saying there are only f like maybe five, six good megas. You got Zard X, you got Houndoom, which are I they're my personal favourite so far, but when you get down to it, you've got Kanga, you've got Lucario, you've got Gengar. Who the fuck else you got? Maybe Zard Y, maybe, because of how much power and force it's got between, behind its stab, sun boosted fire blasts. Um, yeah. It's not a big list, is it? Yeah, I, I want to keep Gyarados in. Uh, it's sort of like, what would you change on Gyarados to make Zardex better? Or what would you change with Zardex, like Pokemon or Moveset or whatever, to make Gyarados work better? Because, like I say, Rotom Wash is such a ginormous whore uh, that I'd really like somebody to deal with it. Also, kind of a vague side note, but not really. If you have something to deal with Mandibuzz, I'd love that, alright? Because Mandibuzz, like... I have barely, like, in the last few matches that I played, I haven't really played much the last couple of days because I've been doing a lot of Pokemon stuff and I've been looking after my dad, who uh, went through his operation okay, by the way, for those who uh, wished him well. I'm very, very thankful for that. He went through his operation okay. But like I said, I've been playing a lot of Pokemon, uh, getting my pickup team ready. Um, uh, the last matches, the few matches that I played, I saw Mandibuzz a shit ton more. Mandibuzz is looking really good this gen. Because Dark isn't resisted by Steel anymore. 
um, it gets knockoff, which is boosted to a ludicrous degree when it knocks off an item. And it gets foul play, and it gets roost, and it gets taunt. Mandibuzz is just a serious fucking threat. So I'd like something that can deal with Mandibuzz as well. Maybe not, like, kill it outright, but if I can get a fucking Toxic on Mandibuzz, that's a thing, alright? Because I that's the one difficulty I have with Mandibuzz. I mean, you look at my team, if I can scroll up, I mean, you got fucking Gastro. Does he have speed to outspeed Mandibuzz? But no, he doesn't, so Toxic doesn't work. We got Tentacruel. Tentacruel might do it, but it's not um, exactly guaranteed, is it? So, something that can deal with Mandibuzz effectively, because another thing I've found is that it can do physically defensive wall and specially defensive wall really well. That frustrates the shit out of me. <laughs> um, the last thing is Dragonite. Now, weakness policy Dragonite is a mainstay this gen. I'm, gu I'm fucking guaranteed it will be very highly used thing. Um, my main problem is, well, with Dragonite it's more of a problem with me. And a little bit of a problem with its coverage. Uh, one, every single time I use Dragonite, like, say I'm against a Genesect, okay? I have so much faith in Dragonite and its multi-scale that I think, you know what, that Ice Beam, I can get my weakness policy and I can roost it off and then I can kill the Genesect. Every single time I've tried to roost off that kind of hit, I have been left at, like, 94%. And then I have to extreme speed and I die. Do you have any idea how fucking frustrating that is? I'm trying to make the safe play. I'm trying to sort of make sure that Dragonite gets a bit of extra survivability and then maybe I can kill off the Pokemon that's attacking it with an E-Speed and then I've got multi-scale and plus two plus two. This never seems to happen for me. So I kind of want your honest opinion. Should I run Roost and try and play a bit defensive? Or should I run DD and just think, okay, once you've got plus one, plus three, fuck it. Just go mental. I'd like your honest opinion on that. The other thing, and I was thinking about this today, because I had a dentist appointment and I was bored off of my ass. Um, the main weakness of Dragonite's set, which is a really odd thing to think about, is Dragon Claw. Like, here's the thing. I want extreme speed because I love me some frickin' priority on Dragonite, okay? I really do. It's very helpful and it's randy dandy. But... I really need you because Tran's like, hey guys, oh, you got Dragon Claw? So you need EQ to kill shit like that. And I want Roost because this multi scale is very important to me and to the team because it means I can switch in on certain things and just tank it up and be a beast. But Dragon Claw, on the other hand, I mean, it's more by like scums and just everything, really. Genesect will come in and be like, lol, Dragonite, yeah, what are you going to do? You're going to EQ me? Yeah, I'll just Ice Beam you and die. So I really have this very odd urge to just put Fire Punch in there. I know that seems very odd, and it's been a damn sight of a long time since I run a no-stab Pokemon. I mean, I think the last one was like, I don't know. I mean, usually you always aim to have some stab somewhere on your set. Because it's very helpful. But like I say, it, it also ties into Charizard X is like, you know, if you bring it into a Skarm, then the Skarm's going to leave. If Dragonite is there, Skarm's actually going to come into the Dragonite. So if you have Fire Punch or Flamethrower, you can catch it off guard. It's like my Fire Blast Gyarados. You bring in your physical water Gyarados because, oh, it's going to DD, and it's like, pa pow, Fire Blast your face in. So I'm not quite sure on that. I really don't know. Like, there's not enough moves on Dragonite for what I want. Like, I do not want Extreme Speed, Dragon Claw, EQ, and Fire Punch. But I really need Roost to make Weakness Policy usable. So I don't know. It's very confusing. And I, how long have I spent ranting about my team? 20 minutes! Whoa! This should please someone. Oh dear. Anyway, how about we actually do a fucking battle? That'd be nice, wouldn't it? Oh, what a novel concept. So anyway, like I say, give your uh, opinions and feedback on that shit. I uh, really appreciate it. Go away, Don fan. What are you doing? How much do you want to bet? It's going to be, it won't connect. Go on. You can do it. No, you can't. What am I talking about? 
because, oh yeah, showdown's so consistent. Yeah, another thing I'll be doing is I'm watching Persona 4 Golden, because I, uh, I've been meaning to get around to watching it. It's taken me a while, but I, I'm there now, I'm watching it now, because, oh man, Persona 4 is so good. <laughs> like, Persona, like, I have tried watching Persona 2, but I don't really like the graphical style, like, it, I don't know. I don't know. I really like Persona 3 and Persona 4's graphical style, though. It's so nice and so sleek. It's really good. And it, it's a really good candidate for, Hey, look, everyone else! You don't need amazing graphics to make a good game! Killzone! Pay attention! You see all those graphics that you got? All the, you know, all the reviewers that would, like, literally leap into your universe and start fucking... Fucking the scenery. Yeah. I mean, don't need it because your game is shallow and pointless and not many people like it that much. But Persona, whoa, the graphics aren't amazing there. The graphics aren't cutting edge balls to the wall like pro uh, processor rapers. No. They're just good. They make the game look good. And the art style is good. It focuses on the story and things that make the game interesting. Why has that concept been lost over time? Anyway, we're actually in a battle now. By the way, if I was going to nominate a game for the actually needed a graphical update, Phoenix Wright Dual Destinies. Yeah, I bet you weren't expecting that one. Tell me I'm wrong, alright? Tell me that you don't compare the two Phoenix Wright art stars and tell me that Dual Destinies, like, sort of crazy over the top expressions don't look so much better. I love that. Like, this is the one game where I can say, look, this game, Neo, used its graphical update to the utmost, just, pinnacle of brilliance. Anyway, there's a pharaoh there, so I'm gonna leave with Zardex. And then I'm gonna leave with Sylvie, unlike a bitch. You know what I'm gonna do? Play a blitz you're facing! Yes! Yes! Zardex! This is why I don't want to get rid of you! I love you so much, but you're so inconvenient sometimes. Oh, Zardex. It's so lovable. And it's sprite is so much better than Zard Y. Like, I, um... <laughs> I, for a laugh, I, um, my sister sort of, you know, talks to me about Pokemon sometimes, but she's more of a Guild Wars 2 fan. And I showed her, you know, the uh, Zard Y sprite, and she's like, Wow, that looks really sharp! And I was like, it does a bit, doesn't it? It looks like if you touched it, you'd fucking cut yourself. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, oh, he's gonna go into Espeon. Gyro Ball. Come on then! Go into Espeon. I've used it enough times, now you're gonna go into Espeon and fucking Varrow. Unless you stay in. No helmet. Wow. Is helmet a mainstay on Pharaoh now? If it is, that's interesting. Why would I ever. Well, actually, helmet would have helped me out there. I prefer a bit more survivability. I don't even know if I spelled that right. Probably not. Whatever. Let's protect a bit. Ooh. EQ, eh? That's interesting. I kind of really... I mean, fuck it, it's got a Dragonite then. I should at least be able to take most of it, unless he goes for a return, which is just like, what? why would you do that? Go away. I, didn't, I, I knew Rocky Helmet was a bigger thing because of the amount of extra damage it does this gen, but I didn't think it was, like, that, that big of a thing. I predict a pharaoh. You're gonna go into it. Mm. He says he likes how much damage it does with the you know, sort of combo thing. It actually might, actually, it might well be better than Kangra. I mean, there it would have killed it. Pharaoh is my main physical wall, so it's sort of like, if you put Rocky Helmet on it, yeah, the amount of damage you do to physical attackers is insane, especially if they have to go for, like, a Flare Blitz or something to kill you, but 
That means they kill you. I kind of want my Pharaoh to live. Yeah, Pharaoh is very fucking crucial. Also, see that Pharaoh there? Would be pretty handy to have a fire, yeah, fire move on this Dragonite, but I don't. I've got Roosted. Ah! Also, this guy just said he needs a physical wall. Pharaoh is right there, man! It's really good. It's stupidly good. It needs to fuck off. Why would he bring Volcarona in? I don't... Damn it! Flamethrower would be awesome here! There's your Rocky Helmet. Okay. Uh, do I predict Stealth Rocks or I predict the T-Wave? I've seen so many fucking T-Wave ones. I hate the T-Wave set. I'm going to Zardex. If he goes T-Wave, then that's fine, but I'm still predicting Stealth Rocks. Or Lead Seed. Whatever. Fair enough. This is where Roost would be really handy. Protect. Protect. You're gonna go protect. There is one very good silver line to this, though. Actually, ah, oh. ah. Oh. See, I want to stay in and try and kill it, but I do actually really need Charizard X to kill it. Nothing particularly wants to do it. I mean, my Donphan had Fire Fang on it just for Pharaohs, but Zard X is the only thing that's really gonna be able to pull it off. Uh, unless I manage to get a Scald Burn with Tentacruel. I suppose, to be fair, Leech Seed as well would whittle itself down because Black Sludge Tentacruel! Haven't seen that in a while! God, it only took rain becoming shit! Ugh, I love Black Sludge Tentacruel. Why would you get... Why would... Uh, that was one thing that really annoyed me. Like, Black Sludge was just shit as an ability. For, like... You know, the entirety of 5th gen. Why aren't you doing things? I've clicked my move. No, wait, not Flamethrower. I'll go to Pharaoh. Unless he's still got to make his move. There we go. There's Protect. Now, here's the thing. I am going to entirely beat him out. Yeah, yeah. What's happened there, there, buddy, is that's not quite happening, is it? So what's he got? Gyro Ball, Leech Seed, Protect. What's your last move? Surely you've got, you know, a thing to uh, uh, Stealth Rocks. Are you seriously relying on your Espeon? I just, uh, I don't quite know. He's gone for Gyro Ball there. On the other hand, Tentacruel is perfectly, happily, safely cool here. Um, I'd actually quite like to start going for school to get some burns somewhere. If he does want to go, Stealth Rocks are fine. If he wants to set up Leech Seed, I'm okay with that. There's your Stealth Rock. There it is. I knew it was there somewhere. If you want to go Leech Seed, awesome. It will fucking whittle you down. This is why Black Sludge is so good. Why would you not use Black Sludge? Yes. Awesome. You know what? I'll fucking leave Tentacruel in here. Tentacruel will do handily. Oh dear. Cool! Go for it! I'll wait for you to die there, Slick. I don't think his Espeon will be able to kill me, I think. And this is a fantastic way of killing Pharaohs. See, Rocky Helmet Pharaoh, eat your fucking heart out, my friend. Oh shit! Yes, Tentacruel! Yes! You are a god! Don't know how much that matters. Tentacruel isn't actually that, you know, especially offensive, but I don't know. As I say, I haven't used Volcarona in a while. Now, you may be thinking, why well, haven't you used Volcarona in a while, second? Well, I have a very good reason for that. Do you want to know what it is? Because Entry has his AR ginormous cunt. Look at huge! Just. sexually disease infested cunt. I say Volcarona is cool. I mean, I'd say I I I love my scarf set dearly. I really do. Even though Houndoom has just pushed it aside because Houndoom's such a fucking beast. But it, it can't handle the entries, and you really need to pay attention and be on edge for entry hazards. 
That's the problem. Oh, look, it's Zardex. What's he doing? He's kicking butt. Whatever. Espeon. Oh, he quit. Wow, what are the odds of that? Do you guys see why I can't get a good fucking game on Showdown? Are you serious? You literally couldn't hang around for two, you know, the few extra turns. You might be able to fucking turn it around, but no! It's really fucking pissing me off. It really is. Okay. Uh, I don't like the look of that. Every time I see a Latias, I just sort of puke slightly because they're so fucking good. I'm predicting the Roton Wash because Roton Washes seem to have some kind of weird hard on for Gastros. Rotom or Skarm. Skarm might happen as well. Boah. Oh, it's Charizard. That's interesting. Um, he's probably going to Mega Evolve into Zard. Why? Let's go into my Zard, because my Zard is cooler. <sighs> that should be quite good if he evolved into Zard. Why? Oh, there you go. Good for you, Slick. Great. Mega Evolve. Don't fuck with me. Say so people really do like Zardwai. I, I I really just personally can't quite understand. Ooh, that did some damage. Ooh, that did a lot more damage. Can I actually win the fucking speed tie, please? That'd be nice. Oh yeah, you you have fun with that there, buddy. I wonder if I can live the hydro pump. I'm gonna fucking try it. Bring it on, punk. Oh. Or do that. Huh. Resto Chester Rotom is a very odd beastie. Ah, Gastro, I'll handle it. I'm assuming it will go Hydro Pump, but it's not exactly going to be able to accomplish much else. Hey, cheers! Um, toxic. Go for a wisp or not? Oh yes! Oh praise Jesus! Oh, there is a god. I fucking hate Latias because I know most of them are gonna be far. Oh no! Ah, oh. and here I was expecting the calm mindset. Who'd have thunk it? Um. I'm predicting the switch toxic. Damn it! Ah, oh, it's so close to. Oh well. Let's go to Technicrow. It's kind of. Th well, actually, why would he go into Rotom? Actually, he's got a pretty good reason to go into Rotom because he can rest. No stealth rocks for you. Go away! You're gonna well with me out or try and brave burn me, either or. Say, what kind of creepy lady I'll say is that? I've never seen a complete. Well, I haven't seen a completely specially defensive set in years. Because everyone runs that fucking subcar mindset. I fucking hate this car mindset! It never dies! If you don't get a toxic on that fucker, that's it! It's over! There's nothing left for you! It drives me crazy! No, Rotom. No. Alright, let's start Giga Draining the feck out of this bastard. Don't. Oh, oh god, that really just did nothing. Oh, wow, you got a crit. Super! How lovely. I love getting critted. That is one of the disadvantages of the physically defensive tentacle. Although, whittling that Rotom down isn't bad. Mm. I don't quite know how I'm going to deal with that fecker. It might well have to be the last thing left. <sighs> oh no. Oh, whoopee. I want to go into Zard X, but 
I'm still kind of worried that I'm probably not going to win this B tie, although I can do this. Yeah, guess who times four is this your solar beam shit face? I'm predicting the Skarm now, because I have extreme speed, he probably won't chance that shit. So I'm going to go to my Zard. Come on! Go ahead and fucking Skarm! This is why I really want to get into Wi-Fi battling. I know, you know, most of the people I'm going to Wi-Fi battle aren't going to know. And they're not going to be dicks about it. Alright, you know, they're, they're not going to run, it's just because, yeah. Fucking showdown, man. Seriously? This is just depressing. Uh, that's an interesting team, though. It's got the Entei, you got the Meganium. Oh, I can't wait to see what Meganium gets. It's going to be awesome, because Meganium's so cool. Meganium is easily one of my favourite Pokemon. Uh, did Entei get something? I can't remember. I, I remember seeing someone using a Sacred Fire Entei, and the logic that it was legal on Showdown was that there's a character in the game who hints at a Sacred Fire Entei, which is just like, that's got to be one of the vaguest reasons something's ever been legal, but whatever. Uh, to be fair, most of that, Zardex. Ambipom. Ah! Okay, you know what we're gonna do? We gotta EQ! Bring it on, punk! Bring it on! God, I can't wait for the lower tiers to be released. One of the things I quite like to do for sick gen before I start sort of delving into the madder and weirder things on my actual car is to sort of have a, you know, strong team for every tier. Maybe, we'll see how we go. I'm probably gonna prioritize OU and NU, because I actually, I really like. ARE YOU FUCKING SERIOUS?! FUCK'S SAKE! That is odd. But whatever. I haven't seen Lantern in ages. Lantern's awesome. Specs Lantern, what a man. Uh, is he really going to lead with Toad? I don't know. Oh, he actually is. Okay. Let's go to Gastro. Fuck a doodle do. I should have gone to Tentacruel. Ah, uh, whatever. Um. Fairer. There we go. There we go. Right, let's Flare Blitz his face off. Are you going to stay in? I don't know. He is. Oh, he's going for the protect. Good for you there, buddy. I'm still going to go Flare Blitz. I really don't care. If he wants to go into Politoed or something, then good for him, but... Oh, Sonic! You're so good! Oh, God, that's a lot of damage. Oh, that's not fun. Ho, oh, ho. I'd actually predict Skon Tank at this point. Oh, that. Okay. Ah, oh, he's got Moxie. Uh, there. Because I actually have my Pharaoh. Ah, oh, shit. Uh, he's the only Mega that he can get on his team apart from Sizzle. I don't know. I kind of want to go League Seed, but a lot of these feckers are sub. Uh, there's no gyro I can't think of much it can do. If it does mega, then that's a bit of a bitch. And you go Elite Seed. If he's gotten DD twice, I'm assuming he's got something. Oh! Oh, you got EQ, dude! Oh, that's so cute! You know, Elite Seed Protect! Good job! <laughs> Pharaoh will sit here for years. Oh, it's a scon tank. I wonder what that has. Could it be flamethrower? No. Tentacruel should maybe be able to handle that. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. I suppose... I, I'd assume it has flamethrower, just because... It's good coverage on scon tank. 
Um, I'll just keep spamming scold. Although that is that, it, that scum tag is taking that scold impressively well. Although Tentacruel is taking that sucker punch impressively well. So either or. Oh, there's Lantern. Water absorb. No. Fuck! I would have loved to have gotten a toxic on that. You bitch. Oh well. Look who can wall you. Ah, you got epoxy on oh, confuse right? No. There is nothing you can legitimately do here. I'm predicting the switch to something else. And... Sorry, Dad. Go into Gyarados. Oh, no, it's Gyarados. Oh, no. Alright, Charizard, let's put your uh, cool ass to the test. Can you kill with a Dragon Claw? It's a Moxie set. I can't imagine it's that bulky. Oh, hey. Ah, oh, fuck. Ah, oh, balls. Charizard, you ain't outspeeding that bastard. Oh, uh, he's got EQ. Why the fuck didn't you Mega Revolve against Pharaoh, you tit? Oh, well. Go Waterfall. Or EQ. Oh, look at you, Mega. You still did absolutely nothing. Good job. Huzzah. Now Fur has got a reasonable amount of HP again. Slowly whittling his team down. I reckon Zardex would probably live a bullet punch from Scizor. The only thing that's really... Well, the two things that are really problem now are Toad and Skuntank. I mean, Zardex should be able to kill a Lantern off easily with an EQ. Tank the Bullet Punch, kill the Scizor. It could probably kill the Skuntank with an EQ, but there's Sucker Punch there, and that's a bit of a bitch, because I don't have Roost, so it's a pain in the arse, really. Uh, I'm going to protect. Don't know what you're going to do. Don't really care. Oh, this is good. Oh, I've never seen that one before. Uh... Oh, Gasher is that. It'll do. But Gatwood, speaking of things, Gastro could probably do this reasonably well on its own. Apart from Sizzle. But that's about it, really. Ooh, what a prediction. You did so much damage there. <laughs> hmm. Scott scored. I was being protecting Toxic. Why don't you just run a Rest Talk set? Rest Talk set was cool. I really like the Rest Talk Tone in fifth. I don't really like it in sixth because you've pretty much got to run um, Damp Proc if you want to get anywhere. I don't know if this guy's actually got that or not. He might have lefties, I don't know, but yeah, I'd, I'd say damp rock over lefties to get some actual use out of it. Uh, and that's not really feasible. Um, is Lantern poisoned? Ah, it's burned, would be. Scissor, Skun Tank. Ah, this guy's complimenting me. Thank you. Uh, and I got a Dragonite. Yeah, you go. Oh, it lived! It lived! Oh, you whore! Seriously? What the hell, Skontank? Or more specifically, what the hell, Dragonite? Are you kidding me? You can't even kill a scun tank? With an EQ? You're animate for fuck's sake. What kind of freaky scun tank is that? When... Dragonite, if you don't fucking step it up, I will replace your ass. I've already been looking at Salamence.
Where are you going, Dragonite? I swear to God, man. That's a crit! What? Are you taking the piss? 55% is all you can do. This guy's very nice, by the way. Thank you, Devilex. Thank you. Nice, nice to see some people who are actually kind on this godforsaken website. Don't you do it. Oh, thank Christ. He went SD again. Uh, hey, he's been in the bag. Dragon, that still doesn't count as you pulling you away. You still fucking disappointed me. You couldn't even kill a scon tank with EQ and your crit on a scissor did 55%. That said, the next one did 41%. But still, you should be fisting that. What do you do? Get your head in the game, Dragonite. Get your head in the game. Please don't leave. You actually seem quite nice. Don't you fucking do it. Oh, you stunned him. He even said not. He, he he was nice. I'll give him that. He was like he realized that he fucked up with his scissor. He said GG. And he said that gastro is gonna warn me, so he forfeited. But <sighs> I suppose in the grand scheme of things, he was done. But come on, is it? I I know I agree. Really can't say much because I forfeit as well, and I you know I'm quite happy to say that it's a very scummy practice. But it's so frustrating. Like, legitimately, I don't quite see how people honestly get, like, proper showdown matches for videos. I mean, I'm amazed I get proper showdown matches for videos, because as soon as people start saying that they're fucked, they're just gonna leave, because they can go find another match and win there. Yeah, well. Like I said, it is one massive advantage of playing mates. You know, you know the person. If they're fucked, then yeah, they're fucked, but they're still gonna try, and... Yeah, you know, there have even been a few videos where a guy has been absolutely categorically fucked in every single complete way, and he's still come back and managed to win. I was even, like, getting a guy, like, come on, man, you can still do this, you can still win. I was fucking against him, and I still had to encourage him to try and play. Ugh, I don't know, man. If you honestly admit that you're done fight, and there is no shame in just, you know, knocking over your king and forfeiting, but they're not knocking over their king and forfeiting, they're just being pissy and leaving. Again, not saying that, you know, I'm the pinnacle of fair play, but that's just kind of what everyone's doing on Showdown. You know, they're just, instead of knocking over their king and forfeiting, they're just slapping the board away and walking off in frustration. I don't know. Whatever. This has been 48 minutes. Time flies when you're having fun. Yeah, I hope you've enjoyed in this video. Uh, the, like, the first 20 minutes of random team bullshit, if you could give me your honest feedback on some stuff. Because, you know, the first team that I breed on my uh, you know, x car, I'd quite like it to be something that I'm positively, definitively happy with. So... Any advice is appreciated. If you don't have any advice, then whatever. I hope you enjoyed the video, and yeah, love you all. See you guys in a bit. Peace.